The boxing world is buzzing as the fight between Devin Haney and Vasily Lomachenko draws near. One, two, and now Haney's got that fire in his eyes! 42 punches, the number of punches thrown by Rodriguez has won. Odds seem stacked against the aging Loma, but there are a few fighters who might have him pulling off the upset against the rising superstar Devin Haney. Fighters reaction. The lightweight division in boxing is perhaps the most exciting and talent-rich division in the game. Essentially, all the top guys have a 50-50 shot against each other, which makes these fighters' predictions even more fun as we get the thoughts and analysis of some of the brightest minds in the game. One such mind belongs to the great Canelo Alvarez. When asked who would win between Haney and Loma, he went with the undisputed champ. Just take a listen to what Canelo had to say. Canelo, they, they just announced Devin Haney versus Lomachenko. You like it? I, I, I like it. I like it. Who, who do you like? I think both are not a good fighter, but uh, I think David Haney right now is the favorite. Devin. As Canelo said, Haney has looked really great recently as evidenced by his back-to-back -back decision wins over Cambosis Jr. Another incredible boxing mind, Roy Jones Jr., also agrees with Canelo. But his reasons for backing Haney are slightly different. This is what Jones had to say. Loma's a technical fighter. And he's one of my favorites. He's always one of my favorites. So is Haney. But what I do like about the fight for Haney is that it's going to be size versus experience. Because Haney's going to be the bigger fighter. And Lopez showed that the bigger fighter is going to give Loma a problem. That's yeah. how Loma got his first loss with the bigger fighter. The guy didn't make weight and he got any beat. So we know that Loma's. Blueprint has been the bigger guy. Haney's definitely a bigger guy who also can box. Now, of course, Roy Jones is referring to the fact that Teofimo Lopez beat Loma in 2020, which has been a big reason why a lot of people are picking the champ to retain his titles against Loma. But ironically enough, Teofimo doesn't see Haney getting his hand raised. This is what the former champ had to say. Lomachenko, why? Why? Is it not Teofimo? No one beats Loma? No one beats Loma. Except uh, you. Nobody beats Lomachenko. Nobody. I mean, I've been in the ring with the man. He's smart. He has so many different tactics that I never even thought of that it's possible. And I absorbed it. I mean, I picked it up right away. I started adapting. I mean, in, in that fight, you can see that we both dip at the same time. You know, it just started to be we were in sync after that. And I think that uh, just catching a lot of things that this guy has. He has dirty tactics. He has clean tactics. Uh, overall, he has the experience, and I don't think any of them are ready for that. Fair enough. Loma is incredibly skilled, and no one is Teofimo, but Haney did beat the guy who beat Teofimo. But like the old fighting adage goes, styles makes fights, and perhaps only Teofimo has the style to beat Loma. But we'll see if that is true soon enough. Although this is one of the most highly anticipated fights in boxing, there is one man who seems unimpressed by the matchup. Look at Gervonta Davis's reaction when asked about the upcoming fight. Speaking of the fighters, who do you think going between Devin Haney and, and Lomachenko? Man. Next question. <laughs> and that came after Davis finished talking about how he thinks a lot of current fighters are quote unquote trash. So I think we can put two and two together there. Now, of course, Tank has had some back and forth with Haney, so those comments could be stemming from the brewing bad blood between the two. Another person who has his eyes set on the potential winner of this fight is the young and super talented Shakur Stevenson. And as far as he is concerned, he may as well start preparing for Haney right now. This is what Shakur had to say. Not in the context of you fighting the winner or looking forward, yeah, just that's... looking at that fight itself and how you see the fight going and, and what you make of it. I see Devin smoking him. Um, I think he a little too big. I think size plays a real part in that and is a little too big for him. Someone who has had the unique opportunity to fight both men has been Jorge Linares. Although he lost both contests, he is the only man ever to wobble Haney, so his insights to the upcoming fight are pretty unique. Just take a listen to who Linares has winning. Who do you have winning at, um, Loma or um, Devin? Oh, uh, you know, now I respect both. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a good, very good friend of, of Lomachenko and also Haney too. Yeah. So, but I think, you know, is that have, that fight happened? I think 60, 60, 40. For me, Haney have the best, the best time right now. Mm. You know, he's quick, he's fast, he's, he has power, and he moves so much and so, so well in the ring. Now, in the same vein as Linares, Albert Bell, who also has experience with both guys as he has sparred with Loma and Haney, so he also brings a unique perspective to his prediction. Take a listen to what the up-and-coming Bell has to say about the matchup. 
You know, and seeing the fact that you had been um, able to spar a guy like Devin, and he's going to be, and you said you sparred Lomachenko yeah, as well. Yeah, the whole camp alone. Uh, obviously, at this point, you know, you know, you're not going to reveal it too much, but just for the fight fans, because you have the insight of Loma, and, and he, how do you think the fight plays out? Uh, I think it's a great fight. It just all depends. Um how much ring rust did Loma knock off, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And how how um, how well Devin makes the weight again, you know? But um, other than that, it's a tremendous fight. Meanwhile, retired boxer turned analyst Polly Malinaji is more excited for this bout than any other in the lightweight division. Let's take a listen to how Polly sees this fight going down. I said, I'll, I'll give it again. I think Haney, very athletic fighter, um, has uh, the size advantage. I think Lomachenko has been so good in his career that he, he's only, he can only have competitive fights if he fights at, at a weight that's outside of his natural weight. I mean, I don't think Lomachenko is above a, a natural 130 pounder, and you can tell in his fights in the lightweight division, he's the smaller guy, you know, by a large margin, you know what I mean? And he's constantly fighting the lot bigger guys, and he still had plenty of success in the lightweight division, but you can tell he's clearly a smaller guy. Once more, the Haney size advantage seems to be the X factor coming into the fight. Another person backing Haney is the boxing promoter, Eddie Hearn. However, his prediction needs to be taken with a grain of salt as he always has his promoter hat on. Eddie, uh, I see you said that um, if Devin Haney um, will beat Lomachenko comfortably. Do you really believe that? Yeah, definitely. I think he'll win every round. Eddie, um, Devin Haney, I believe. That's why I said he'll win every round. Teddy Atlas also is throwing his hat into the Haney corner because as time passes, the older Loma will get slower and his experience advantage will mean less, while Haney will continue to peak and get better and better. This is how Atlas breaks the fight down. The Haney Lomachenko fight will probably wind up getting it. Uh, it'll be very interesting. Uh, <laughs> it'll be an awful tough fight. For Loma, but you know what? It'll be a tough fight for both guys. Now everyone keeps mentioning the size difference, so it's only right to see what Loma has to say about it, and by his reaction, it doesn't seem like Loma cares that he will be the smaller guy in the ring. Just take a look at his reaction. He's the biggest, stronger guy you can probably face outside of maybe Tofuma Lopez. Is it tallest and strongest? Yeah. So I'll check, I don't know. <laughs> While in the Haney camp, they feel confident that they will be able to stop Loma's game plan and maybe even get the better of him in the clinch. This is how Haney sees the fight going down. Then we'll go from there. What, what do you think is the feel? most challenging thing about Lomachenko's style? Uh, you know, he has experience, ring generalship. Um, he's, I, I, I know he's training to, for a, a dirty fight, a scrappy fight. You know, he wants to, you know, get it, get, get in and get as dirty as possible uh, on the clinch. You know, that's what I've heard that he's training for. So uh, we just, we're just we just preparing for whatever he brings to the table. But uh, we, we know the type of fight that he wants. Now the fight between these two superstars is set to go down on May 20th at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Nevada. There is no doubt that it will be a highly technical bout where the winner of the fight will have to prove that they are truly the best pound-for-pound -pound boxer on the planet. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell beside it so that you're notified the next time we upload a new video. And with that being said, you just watched fighters predict Devin Haney versus Vasily Lomachenko. We'll see you next time.